This German UFA issue was released late in March, 1944. The commentator describes this as new recruits in the Dutch workers' service during the ceremony of handing over the shovels. The shovel is the symbol of their new obligations to their homeland. This is typical of the cooperation with New Germany theme. This subject, the celebration of a Slav festival in Serbia, has as its dominant theme the protection of native cultures with the inclusion of the protection of religion. Ceremony shown here is Greek Catholic. Later in this issue, the main treatment on the casino story, which is Roman Catholic, doubly reinforces this theme. The commentator says, the priest celebrates mass. Then, the kolo, the Serbian national dance, marks the end of the Slav festival. This boat race in Malaga is the Spanish subject, which suggests the idea of normal living with a prosperous new Europe. Another new order subject, the commentator says, in the mountains of the High Tatra, the soldiers of the Czechoslovakian armed forces give proof of their outstanding abilities. The commentator states, French fishing boats set sail. German torpedo boats protect the French fishing boats from enemy attack. Contra torpedeiros alemães, protege os barcos franceses contra ataques inimigos. Soon a plane is shown and finally driven off, which for the story should justify all this protection. The number of fishing boats that have escaped to England give probably a truer justification for armed escort. Um avião inimigo ataca. The twin anti-aircraft gun shown has rarely appeared in the newsreels. As the fish caught are herring, this scene is probably off the Channel or Atlantic coast. This sequence, therefore, might be another example of the German technique of turning an unpleasant necessity into a fair propaganda story. The commentator says, new units of the Italian army celebrating mass in Trieste. This is an attempt to show that Italy is still an effective military ally and has religious overtones as well. The men take the oath to the flag, that is, the Italian flag without the arms of Savoy. On the southern Italian front, the commentary says, despite their concentrated attacks, the Anglo-American air attacks did not prevent the German reinforcements from reaching their destination. Only by overcoming the greatest of difficulties is it possible to get provisions to the mountain positions. This treatment is much like our own, emphasizing the difficulty of the terrain. Chega a mula que traz munições e víveres. That is all that is devoted to the military action on this front. The remainder of the Italian story becomes a religious propaganda treatment. As the commentator says, 
the Abbey at Mount Cassino, as it has been known through the centuries. And here it is today, after the bombing of the Anglo-American air arm. In connection with the claim of non-use of Mount Cassino, a snip on the German radio is of interest. A German broadcast on the 17th of February described a German artillery officer who was using a balcony on the southwest corner of the abbey as an observation post. This information was withdrawn and denied an hour later. There are no pictures of damage to the more important buildings, such as the chapel, the library, or the cloisters. The aged Gregorio de Mare, abbot of Monte Cassino, who is not identified by name, is shown leaving the abbey and arriving at Vatican City under the beneficent protection of the Germans. The abbot has frequently been used on the German radio. The commentary continues. Another testimony of the ignominy of the Anglo-Americans, Castle Gandolfo, here in the summer home of His Holiness, respected by the German troops just as was Mount Cassino, 15,000 refugees were lodged mostly women and children. Castle Gandolfo is the name of the village as well as the Pope's villa located there. The film shows us wreckage at a street intersection, obviously in the village. In this sequence, there are no signs of destruction of religious structures. The commentator locates this. In the northern sector of the east front, the German troops detach themselves from the enemy according to established plans and take up new positions. This is the standard way of describing a retreat. Note the improvised use of bombs for demolition. He continues, the bridges are destroyed as soon as the last German soldier passes over it. Nothing remains that could be used by the enemy. At the time of the liberation of Leningrad, the German and Russian radios presented counterclaims about the fate of the German siege guns, both sides claiming possession. These sequences show no evidence of the Germans having heavy equipment. A soldier about to take a drink passes the bottle to the holder of the Iron Cross first class. While there is no mention in the commentary, a close-up emphasizes the medal and gives point to the incident. São abertas trincheiras. commentary identifies this tank for the first time in these reels. He calls them heavy German tanks of the Panther type. O inimigo, depois de penetrado nas posições alemãs, é repelido. The commentator describes this sequence as in the battle area of Kirovograd, a German armored division about to make a counter-attack. A divisão blindada alemã pronta a vibrar o contra-ataque. An enemy group is intercepted and draws fire from heavy German arms. Uma bateria posta em posição de tiro. German grenadiers preparing to strike. A 
battery set into position for firing. Through the TSF, the order is given to start the rocket guns. The Russians were destroyed in this sector. The reel closes, as usual, with the strongest and most impressive shots. This ending is traditional. 